Humans have been around for a long time now, so there has been a fairly large number of evil people. These people tend to have surprising pastimes. Some have many, whereas some just like to kill small animals. This is a list of ten evil people with surprising hobbies. Kim Jong Un was supreme leader of North Korea before he died, and his train wreck of a son took power. He really liked basketball, and according to North Korean officials, he invented the sport. But what's really impressive is that he was the best golfer in history. On his first time playing, he scored 38 under par, which is 25 shots better than anyone else ever. And if there are any skeptics out there, the account was verified by his bodyguards. And if corrupt officials can't be trusted, I don't know if anyone can. Osama bin Laden was the notorious terrorist responsible for 9/11, and as it turns out, he loved volleyball. His former bodyguards tell stories of how he would dominate anyone who challenged him to a match. What a sight it must have been for the mountain folk of Afghanistan to see a six-foot-four Arab giant playing a sport that was surely meant for American women and no one else. Joseph Stalin was the frightening leader of the Soviet Union during World War II and for a while after. And while he wasn't murdering his opponents or murdering his allies, he was busy producing old-school pornography. You see, Stalin really, really, really liked to draw naked men. This could explain why he kept killing his girlfriends. This is devastating, of course, to Vladimir Putin, though, as it means that he's only Russia's second homosexual dictator. Vladimir Putin is the latest in a long line of horrendous Russian dictators. His hobbies are weird just because there are so many. He likes. Skiing, fishing, driving, horse riding, playing ice hockey, and white water rafting. He likes badminton, cycling, and football. He is a black belt in judo and karate, and clearly a master of the ancient art of bullshitto. Ivan the Terrible was the notorious Tsar, who expanded Russia from being a tiny European country to being a huge world power. And his hobby was to kill puppies. Sometimes he would drop them from the top of a tall tower. Sometimes he would burn dozens of them to death, and sometimes he would kick them to death in front of weeping children. I mean, being a Russian leader must be quite stressful if this is what you do to relax. So now we move on to someone a little more family friendly. Saddam Hussein was the long-standing brutal dictator of Iraq, famous equally for his warmongering and frequent use of torture. He's not very well known, of course, for his literature. He liked to write terrible romantic novels. One of his books was about a king falling in love with a woman called Zabiba. The not-so-clever metaphor is that he is the king and the woman is Iraq. I think it's fair to say that Saddam was the worst writer since Mussolini. Mussolini was the leader of Italy during World War II, the creator of fascism, and the only foreign leader to ever occupy Ethiopia. But he was also quite annoying in person. He was a talented violinist, and proved that by constantly playing the same song every single day. He also wrote romantic novels that are rated so badly that I won't even mention them. I think it's fair to say that Mussolini was the worst writer since Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was the ultimate supervillain. He had a huge army, a dominant political party, and a comedy moustache. He was also a huge Disney fan. He considered Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. To be one of the greatest achievements of mankind, his favorite pastime was to draw Disney characters. 
Steve Jobs was the co-founder of Apple. I've gone into why he was evil in one of my other videos, but in case you haven't seen it, just take my word for it. He was bad. In order to relax, he used to soak his feet in a toilet, sometimes for hours. He was a strange man. Nero was the notorious Roman Emperor. Roman Catholics believed that he was the physical embodiment of Satan. His biblical reference number is 666, and he is the reason the number is treated with such significance. His favourite hobby was to crawl out from a cage wearing animal skin and bite at the genitals of people tied to stakes, which was surprisingly standard for Rome. And that brings us to the end of the list today. Remember to subscribe for more, and maybe like and share this video if you want to help me out. What do you want to do? What do you want to do?